So I remember when I was a kid, I used to always have these crazy dreams. Well, I would always be in this this gigantic dark mansion. It had over hundreds, thousands of doors in it. And behind each door was a demon, like the evil, wretched spirits. And behind 13 of these doors in the mansion, which lied in the center of the mansion, there were the worst demons ever imagined. Even the demons of the other rooms in the mansion were scared to go to these 13 doors. And long story short, every time I went to sleep, I woke up in this dark mansion. And I would always begin to dream by trying to escape this mansion. So, you know, I, every time I have a dream, I should really say nightmare, I would run into the city and try to escape these demons. And they would always catch me and bring me back to the mansion. And I would be doomed to have the same dream again, repeatedly. But I remember having this one dream in particular while I was at the mansion, but instead of running to the city like I normally would, I chose to run into the woods. And when I ran into the woods, I seen this gigantic tree about the size of a mountain. It had this beautiful radiating light coming from behind it. All the animals of the forest were circling the tree and all, looking up in amazement at its beauty. All the birds in the air were circling in slow motion in a daze, staring at the beautiful light which was coming from this tree. It was so mesmerizing. And then out of nowhere the tree, the voice and the light spoke to me. And it said, my son, would you like me to help you? And I said, yes. And it told me to follow him. So I did, I followed him. And the next night, I had the same dream where I was escaping from the demons, but this time when I ran into the city, I ran into a maze. And I had to conquer this maze to keep on my escape route and if I didn't conquer it then I would have to go back to the mansion and be doomed to repeat the same maze again. So once I did conquer the maze I proceeded to an even more difficult maze in which I had to conquer this maze. So long story short the mazes got harder and harder but what I didn't know was um, in my daily life at the time I was a CD student you know making C's and D's um, during the course of these dreams, me conquering these mazes, my grades started to shoot up from C's to D's to B's to A's. And in fact, my GPA got so high I was able to get a academic scholarship to Alabama State University upon graduation from high school, a move that nobody saw coming. I mean, when I walked across the stage to grab the diploma and that scholarship, people were amazed people didn't know, you know, how this came to be. And you can actually say some were dumbfounded because I wasn't the, the smartest of the batch in school. My point is this, brothers. Even when you run into obstacles, you run into mazes and paths where it seem the route cannot be passed. Believe it can be. Stay strong in Christ and that mountain will become as a hill to you. And before you even know it, you will be past that obstacle and on to another. For God will not place in your path something that you cannot conquer. He himself will be with you every step of the way. He will empower you and guide you in all that you say and do. And then in turn, use you as a lampstand to inspire others along this same path. Brothers, do not be afraid to share your testimony with others because this inspires them and keeps the church together, keeps us strong. Brothers, I tell you, when you find yourself in a difficult position, don't give up. Just realize your treasure waits on the other side of that challenge. Push through it, persevere, and your treasure awaits you. For the God I know, the God of Isaiah, the God of Jacob, the God of Moses will guide you. 
and he will take care of you every step in your path. Brothers, stay strong in Christ and wear the armor of God in all you do.